we have here? We have a little white face. We have this one, which has a line down its back. And we have this one, which is my favorite. Hi everyone, welcome to Acres of Clay. We bought 16, I think it was 16 heifers that were bred to what we thought and what the owner said were Red Angus. And this is what we got. We've got these beautiful looking ones. There's not Red Angus in them. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of Hereford. Definitely all three of them have a line back. So if you see there's a white line. So maybe a little bit of line back in them. Um, and Hereford mix. And of course the mom was a Holstein. So there's gotta be a little Holstein in there too. They're so cute. Super cute. And this little feller, he's, <laughs> he's going back and forth thinking I have a bottle for him. But I don't. Anyways, we're, I think these things are the cutest little things. Look at you. And I do believe there is one more. That one's gonna be, that one's a mom that we bought. That one there. So there's two more that still have to freshen that were bred to who knows what. This mom, this one here in the corner kind of already looks speckled. So I'm not sure if she's full Holstein or not. But it's gonna be interesting. Can't wait to see what kind of babies they have. So yeah, if you guys have calves that look similar to this or you have an idea of what breed they are, let that let me know. Let me know in the comments below. Uh, yeah, they're just so cute. This is how far the guys have gotten on putting the bulk tank in. As you can see, it's gonna stick out uh, out of the milk room a little bit so this is what it's gonna look like hopefully we're going to redo this and bring it out I don't know I have ideas but we'll see how far my ideas get um, Kevin has poured some pillars here we still have to um, level it and see um, if it has to get shimmed and then we'll then we'll pour the rest of the concrete out here too but if you can hear that it's windy and today I woke up and it was 17 degrees so it's chilly it's been very cold even though it's the last of March it is cold the ground is froze and uh, hopefully from here on out we're gonna get some warmer weather here's what the fertilizer spreader um, looks like the guys finished uh, sandblasting it and then Ethan came in and put the primer down. This is an industrial primer. It's looking pretty good. Uh, they got the, got that, just, they got a couple coats of primer down and now they're going to, uh, well, if it stays sunny and nice, Ethan was gonna try to paint it uh, the white. We have some white paint and then put the new decals on it. We got some new decals um, that we ordered and get those put on here and get this project wrapped up so that it can get sold here soon by the time farmers are gonna need it. We're back working at taking down the rest of the barn, hoping that today uh, we can kind of finish things up here. Um, when we first started this, Oh, probably three weeks ago this whole project it was beautiful out we had great weather it wasn't windy it was warmer it was sunny and now um, the last couple times that we've been here it's gotten colder it's been windy today has been the coldest so far um, it's in the 20s and it definitely feels like probably the teens so yeah, I'm ready for warmer weather for sure. Let me give you some numbers of what we pretty much accomplished here. The barn that we've taken down, like I said, was 48 foot wide and 220 foot long. It had, um, it had 58 trusses. There was a front truss and a back truss and then there were um, 56 regular trusses. And then... 
So 58 trusses total. Um, it had for headers, um, it had two by 12s by 16 foot long. There was, there was about 85 of those. So we picked those up. So we've got those. And then the two by four by 20 foot long. They use 20 foot long. We, when we build, we've never used 20 foot long. So we usually use 16s. And then we stagger um, where we, where we put the joints, where we put them together. We stagger them. These weren't staggered. They were all 20 foot. And they were all, um, the joints were all on the same boards, um, if that makes any sense. But there was, um, there's roughly 350 2x4x20s. The poles, we've got in, I think there's like 66 poles, which are, I'm trying to figure out what's happening here first. Um, there's 66 poles, which I think are 4x4s, or... I'm thinking they're 4x4s or 6x6. I'll have to let you know. And then what else did we take? Steel. We took 150 sheets of steel off of that roof. And a 5-gallon bucket of screws came off that roof. Um, the screws are in 1 inch... We usually use something a little bit longer than one inch. Some of those screws will be reusable, but some of them were like rusty and um, kind of junk. So we won't be using all, so we won't, so some of those won't be um, reusable. But for the most part, everything else is reusable. Some of the two by fours did break when they dropped them from the roof, but, um, yeah, a lot of them were a lot of them are salvageable, so we um took as much as we could on that. Uh what else can I talk about? I can talk about all the concrete. Hold on. Ooh, so here we are. I'm sitting in the truck because it's warm, but there's concrete everywhere. You see the concrete walls, you see the concrete um slabs. All the concrete in the barns here. All the concrete will go through a crusher. Uh, they have a crusher that's going to crush it all up and they will reuse that. The The new owner will reuse that. So some of you have asked about the concrete, if we're going to get any of that. That won't be um, for the taking. Also, any guardrail. Um, you guys, a lot of you have asked about the guardrail. The, the new owner is keeping the guardrail also. So, um, yeah. Lots happening and I'm going to be excited when we're complete here because it seems like we're spending a lot of time over here when <laughs> we could do stuff at home but it's all good uh, we're very very we are very very grateful to be able to get this barn um, and to be reusing it on our place that's super exciting we have lots of ideas and plans ahead of us for this spring and summer so you can be looking forward to that Otherwise, I need to get going. I'm warmed up now, and um, I have to go help the guys. So let's go see what they're doing. We got the second half of the trusses loaded. So it's two loads of trusses on this semi. Those are loaded and ready to go home. We've got four more poles to cut cut off. Um, we're cutting them at the concrete because there's rebar in in the pole in the concrete. So there's no use trying to get 
the concrete tipped over to see if we can get the whole pole. But we're getting at least 8, 10 foot of pole, which we can use somewhere. And they are 6 by 6 poles. Trying to get everything picked up, but that's pretty much everything from this farm that we're going to take. Gotta load up the wood, get back home before supper. that he's using. It's looking good. So here it is. I think it's had two coats of paint now. Looks pretty good. So now we let it dry. Put the decals on it. And put the tires on it. Should uh, should be ready to go. This is the milk room. You don't belong here. Come here. This one has been a pet. I think Sanders is turning it into a pet. No. Who is? Sydney. Sydney. <laughs> you are a pet. Yes. Dakota likes her really well too. And then when she gets older and we're going to milk her, then 
She's not gonna wanna move. She's just gonna wanna follow you and not go where she's supposed to go. <laughs> Brownie wasn't like that. Cow fur all over. Everybody's hunkered in for the night. It's gonna be another cold one. Settle down. <laughs>